All right, font family. We've covered font colors and font sizes, but we want more power. We want to decide what font type to use. We can do this using the font hyphen family, like this. H1 style equals, quote, font hyphen family, full colon, Arial, end quotation. First, we wrote the H1 big title tags. Then inside the opening H1 tag, we added a style attribute and set it equal to, quote, font hyphen family, full colon, Arial, with a capital A, end quote. This uh, styles the H1 tag with the Arial font. We can do the same for other tags. So we could have a list item tag, for example, with a font family, uh, family of Arial as well. Instructions change the font size of the first listed item, li, to 16 pixels and to a font of Arial. Okay, so I'm going to the first listed item here. I'm going to add an attribute, style. I'm going to set it equal to, I'm going to put some quotation marks. And we want to change the font family to Arial. So font hyphen family, full colon, Arial. And then I'll put a semicolon because I'm going to add another thing, and that is to put the font size, font hyphen size, full colon to 16 px. That's 16 pixels. OK, so that's the first one. Instruction number two, change the font size of the second listed item to 12 pixels and the font to veranda. So I'm going to go ahead and make some space in here. I'll just copy the same, um, the last style that I put in, the first list item, and I'll change it so instead of being Arial, it will be Verdana, sorry, and the font size will be 12. Okay, step three, change the font size of the third listed item to 10px and the font to impact. Okay, I'll go ahead and go to my sec uh, third list item and I'll just copy that same style attribute, except I'll change it so the font family will be impact. That's with a capital I. It's important that we capitalize these font names, otherwise it's not gonna work. And I'll change it to 10px. Okay, so that's what I've got, and um, go ahead and submit the code and go on to the next lesson. All right, so now we're in HTML Basics 2, a recap. Awesome job. You've now got control of your web page, including the color, size, and type of font. To recap, we use the style attribute in the opening tag like so. So we've got font size, 14px, color orange, font family, Bondani. I'm pronouncing that right. And then we see a P tag in which it's got a style attribute with all of those settings in it. It's important to know that you can use the style attribute for paragraphs, headings, and even links. So instructions for the paragraph on line 7, make the font have size 20px, color blue, and font family of Arial. All right, so I'll go in here to our paragraph, put some si uh, space in there, and put the style attribute style equals and a couple of quotation marks and here I'll put my CSS I'll put font hyphen size full colon that's 20 px and then a semicolon to separate it with the next one which is color full colon blue semicolon and then the last one font hyphen family full colon Arial with a capital L, put a semicolon at the end, and i um, going to go ahead and save and submit that. All right. It says, congratulations, you finished this section. So I'll go ahead and click Next, and now we go to Background Color. The previous section covered a number of nice tricks to control how the text looks. Now we want to learn about how to change the color of the web page's background. We can use the style attribute again and set it equal to, quote, background hyphen color, full colon red, end quote, or whatever color you want. For example, here's how we change the background color of the P tag to red. And I can see a P style equals background color, red. All right. So instructions change the background color of the body tag to brown. To do so, add the style attribute 
to the opening body tag similar to the example above. Alright, so I'm going into my body tag here. I'll put the style attribute, let's say style equals quote quote, and then I'll go ahead and set the background color to blue, or I'm sorry, brown. So I'm going to say background hyphen color, and then a full colon, and then write the word brown. All right, and that makes it look kind of reddish, but um, that's brown. Step number two in the instructions, change the background color of the OL tag to yellow. So here I've got the ordered list, put some space in here, style equals, quote, quote, and then we'll put the background hyphen color and full colon and set it to yellow. All right, now that's yellow. Save and submit code. and We'll start the next lesson. All right, aligning the text. Often it's nice to be able to move the text around. To do so, we again use the style attribute and then we use the text align full colon left or right or center to determine the location of the text. So here we see an H1 tag. It says it's style equals quote text hyphen align full colon center uh, end quote. Instructions make the H3 heading align center. Okay, so I'll go into the H3 tag, put some space here, put style equals quote quote and within the quotation marks I'm going to write uh, text hyphen align full colon center. All right, and that did center my H1 tag. Step two, make the first item in the list align left. Okay, so I'll go to my first list item. I'm just going to copy this style attribute from my H3 tag, paste it in here, and I'll change it so that instead of saying center, it'll say left. Okay, so that's left. And then my third step, make the second item align center. So I'll go ahead and paste that code in here again, change it from center. Oh, actually, I didn't keep that the same. And then third, or the fourth step, make the third item align right. So I'll go into the third list item, paste that in there, and change it from center to right. Okay, so that is done. Go ahead and save and submit the code and start a new lesson. Okay, strong words. We can change the appearance of words. <clears throat> what if we want to make them bold? Surprise, we don't have to use uh, styled attributes. Here are the steps. Number one, identify the word or words you want to bold, and then surround the words with the opening tag strong and the closing tag for strong. Uh, celebrate how awesome you are at uh, HTML. That's the step three. Okay, so instructions. Number one, bold the word sing on line seven. So I'm going to line seven. I see that the, we have a word sing here. And I'm going to bold it. So I'm going to uh, put a strong tag in front of that. So there's a strong tag. And then I'll put an ending strong tag that's got a forward slash for the word strong. And so now I have made the word sing bold. Step two, bold the word two on line eight. Okay, so I'm going to find the word two on line eight. And then right in front of that, I'll put the word strong, or ta strong tag. And after that, I'll put the closing strong tag. All right, so I see that that is bold as well. All right, we'll go ahead and save and submit the code. And start the next lesson. Emphasize words. Aside, aside from bolding words, we often want to italicize word for emphasis. Like bolding, we do not need to use the style attribute. Instead, here's the steps. One, identify the word or words you want to italicize. Step two, surround the word or words with the opening tags em and the closing tags forward slash em. St uh, step three, be humble and grateful for your newfound powers. All right. Instructions on line seven, italicize the word that. Okay, here's the word that. So I'll just put a tag em in front of that. And then after it, I'll put an ending em tag. Okay, emphasis. Uh, step two on line eight, italicize the word so. Okay, so I'll go ahead and put the emphasis tag in front of that, em, and end it with the em tag after so. All right, make sure you don't include the exclamation mark between the em tags on line seven. Okay, so I did leave that exclamation mark 
outside of the EM tag. Now go ahead and save and submit the code. And it says, good, way to go, start next lesson. All right, summary. This has been an incredible busy lesson. You have covered a lot. Congratulations. We have learned how to one, make ordered and unordered lists, two, change the color, size, and type of font, three, add comments to our HTML file, four, change the page's background color, five, align text, and six, bold and italicize text. Instructions. You're done with this lesson. Press save and submit code to finish. If you want to be a real boss, test out your new skills on a project and make something to show your pals. All right, we're all done with this lesson. Thank you.